Hey everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today is DIY craft day. I love crafting. I am slightly addicted. So today's craft is going to be a floating ghost. He's made out of cheesecloth so you're going to need a few things. You're going to need cheesecloth. You can find this at grocery store, dollar store, hardware store, anywhere that has canning supplies, craft store, and wherever it comes in large pieces so you will have to cut to size and anyone that knows how to cut cheesecloth or has ever cut cheesecloth it can be tricky to cut okay just gonna throw that out there and the next thing we're gonna need and you're gonna need to make this ahead of time it's liquid starch I didn't know that existed before I checked into this project so it's really easy to make yourself though so don't go buying any all you need is the cornstarch you have hidden in your baking cupboard because everybody does for the times that they're going to bake cookies and they don't, right? I'm not even sure how old this is, but cornstarch and water. That's it, guys. Real simple to make. So you're going to need two and a half cups of water and you're going to mix in a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Uh, stir it up. Make sure there's no clumps and lumps and throw it on the stove top. Bring it to a boil and then boil it for a minute. And I stirred it the whole time while I was doing it just to make sure it wasn't sticking to the bottom. Uh, once that's done boiling for that minute, take it off the heater, let it cool to room temperature. Now it says that once it's at room temperature, you can put it in a spray bottle. I don't have a spray bottle, so I went ahead and got a bowl. So I put it in the bowl. I did store it overnight because guys, I did this project last night to make sure it A was going to work and B, we had something to work with today. So I uh, stored it in just a canning jar and it did fine. It's still useful today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here though. Pre-cut your cheesecloth to the size that you like. So I have a mold here, just going to make some room. I made the mold from a styrofoam ball and a jam jar, but you can also make it out of a, any ball you might have laying around, a balloon, a light bulb, and a bottle. So you can make tall guys too. If you got a two liter pop bottle, by all means, grab it and make a real tall guy, right? But we're gonna go ahead and use this because it's more stable. Set that over there and we're going to grab our cheesecloth and like I said I didn't have a spray bottle so we're going to use a bowl and we're just going to soak it a little bit. So get the whole cheesecloth submerged in the starch water or liquid starch I guess is the proper term for it. I'm going to put this dry stuff to the side. Okay and don't worry about remembering the recipe right now I'll put it in the comments okay. All right, so once that's nicely soaked, and it looks like it's really soaked it up here, we are going to go ahead and rinse all of the excess water. You know, when I first started this project, I thought it was a mess-free project, and I think I even posted it as such. Whoops, mess-free. It's not mess-free. You get starch water everywhere. That's okay. It washes out, right, guys? Okay, it's going to come out looking like this. Not much, right? Don't worry, it'll look beautiful when we're all done peeling it apart, taking our time with it, making sure we don't rip any holes in the cheesecloth and dropping it. Oops. Okay. A little bit more on the edge there. No problem, look at that. So we're just going to drape it over our mold. Again, just a ball, balloon, light bulb, Whatever you have in the house, whoop, that will happen. It's happened a couple times last night when I made our guy. Kind of hang on to it and then roll it. I'm doing this in a hurry, so of course it's going to be not cooperative. Guys, I'm trying to keep my videos under that five minute mark, right? So that you guys watch all the way through. I know not everyone has a ton of time every day, so make sure to save the videos for later so you can just refer back to them. Um, I generally do a blog post as well, so check out the website, wiredstudio81.com, and uh, 
follow along with the blog post if that suits you a little bit better. So then you just kind of put the cheesecloth as you want it. We're going to make this guy a little bit more flowy. And like so. There. That's it. That is all you have to do for now. Now comes the tough part. Drying time. And like I said, I made this guy overnight. So he does need time to dry so that he gets nice and starchy and floaty. But this is what you're going to end up with after that dude dries. So, But for now, I'm going to clean up this area and we'll get to the fun part of dressing up this guy. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. See you in a bit, guys. Okay, so I cleaned up the kitchen table so I have a little bit of room to work with. Uh, we've got our ghost drying to the side here that I'm going to embellish later. Again, like I said, give him a good few hours to dry, okay? Um, like, I did it overnight, so that's a good eight hours. It might take that for that starch to set in. So, so But we're going to work with this guy right here. I went ahead and I cut his eyeballs ahead of time and put some double-sided tape. I actually used double-sided tape this time, not scotch tape, because I'm not sure if that's going to be strong enough to hold. So if you've got some double-sided tape, use it. If not, just wrap up your pieces of scotch tape. But So I'm just going to face him towards me because I need to see what I'm doing to put his eyeballs on. So we're just going to stick his eyeballs on. And now the ghost, one of them on the picture was a girl ghost. So I made a ribbon, but if you've got a little girl in the house, go raid her hairpiece stash. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the ribbon on the side. And that's it, guys. That is literally all there is to it. Isn't that super easy and super fun? I just, I don't know, for some reason this one has got to be my favorite. Even though the, the painted jars was cool, I really like these guys. This one's really fun because you can get creative with it. So you don't have to stick to just the basics. You can let the kids go crazy and let them stick whatever they want on it. Perfect for a party table centerpiece, perfect for just to craft with the kids, uh, whatever. It's, uh, it's a fun one. So I'm going to do one more craft video because we're getting so close to Halloween and I'm loving all these DIY crafts and I hope you are too. We're going to do one more so it's going to be a bonus video this week. I'll let you know when I post it. So be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Wired Studio 81 Check us out online at wiredstudio81.com. Send us a message on there, ideas for future shows or a craft that you want to see how it's done. I can try and break it down for you. And by all means, I love your feedback, guys. So definitely give me that feedback if you can. Subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. So once a week we do a product highlight and once a week we do a craft video um, just to have some fun. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting Handmade. And you guys all have a wonderful day. Take care.